Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov and in this training video I will show you step by step how to apply gel nails. We will do nails extensions on these hardly destroyed nails. She is my regular client, her name is Luba. Each process of nails extensions you should start with disinfect hands of your client. You should use special liquids or rubbing alcohol. And after that you should work with cuticles. We are rolling down cuticles on each finger. You should do it properly because only this way we would remove all the skin, all the dead skin properly using the diamond drill bits. Sometimes we should make much pressure on our pusher to roll down very hard cuticles. It's very important because sometimes beginners don't do it to the limit. And now I'm using the long flame drill bit from shapeofnail.com. We are working with the forward speed from the left side. We should place horizontally on the nail plate this drill bit as you can see on the video. To avoid making the hole into the nail plate or the gap. And it's very necessary too for the beginner because sometimes beginners make holes in the nail plate. In the Russian hardware manicure you may apply all kinds of process using the same drill bit, a long flame drill bit. Sometimes nail technicians even use the same bit for removing the skill from nail pads, removing the gloss from the whole nail plate, etc. So this is very useful drill bit and it's very important to buy the correct drill bit. I mean high quality professional diamond tool. Now guys you see me working with the file and now I am removing the gloss from the nail plate and now uh, I'm working with the free edge. Before extensions on nails we should remove the length from the nail plate, but not the whole length. You should remove some corners that will that will let us the to make the process properly. And please pay maximum attention on the thing I'm doing now. Now I'm lifting up particles of the nail plate in cuticles area, and this is the most important thing in nails extensions because. 90% of nail technicians forget about it and don't do it. And after they ask me why their clients have liftings, I can answer guys, they have liftings only why you don't do this thing. You should take the file of 100 grid and move it file up and down, up and down in cuticles area to lift up particles. And after, you should slightly remove the dust from the nail plate. Don't make too much pressure, pressure on, your, uh, on your brush while removing the dust, because in this way you um, um, flatten the particles back. You, sh you, you shouldn't do it. You should, only sh uh, you, you should only remove the dust. And after that, you should neatly and accurately remove the remaining skin like you see on the video using the high quality nippers from shapeofnail.com use only hand sharpened nail uh, nippers because only these nippers don't tear the skin they just cut the skin and never tear okay guys and the next important step is Primering nails. I'm working with the gel primer and this product is the best The best for preparing nails from liftings and now guys I'm presenting you the new product from shapeofnail.com. This is the pink glass sculpting mix gel This gel is uh, semi-transparent 
that creates the maximum natural camouflage effect which is suitable for any type of nail plate no matter what kind of skin what type of skin what color of skin this gel will be suitable for each client if the skin is tinted you may use uh, the beige glass sculpting mix gel if uh, but the pink glass is suitable for each color and type of skin and now guys you see me applying very very thin layer of this sculpting mix gel we need it to protect the nail plate from liftings and we apply again after primary nails we apply thin layer of the base gel and cure this gel in lead lamp in one minute one minute in lead lamp you may also cure the gel primer in lead lamp in one minute it's uh, it also gives guarantee that nails will stay more now you see me working with the gel brush and I'm doing it like cleaning the floor with a mop. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to rub this product into the depth of the nail plate, like you can see on the video. This gel is also doesn't burn the nail plate in UV lamp or LED lamp because this gel is pigmented. And this gel is very hard. Now I'm placing nail forms on each finger. At first you place the nail form on one finger. We sculpt the free edge or the length of the nail plate using the same gel. And now you see that this gel is semi-transparent, a little bit transparent. We are applying the medium layer on the uh, on the length of the nail and place each finger in lead lamp and after we rotate hands and applying the next layer on the other finger on the other nail it's easily to work this way step by step we are using only one product for sculpting nails we don't need to use the base gel for preparing the nail plate so this is product has only one face you shouldn't use the base gel and you shouldn't buy uh, the additional product like the base gel as you can see i'm rota rotating hands and applying on each finger the length using this gel and uh, you cure it in lead lamp it's easy to uh, place the form when you are already prepared the nail plate and you should flow the gel into this uh, into the space between the form and the nail plate you saw the space and we should flow the gel right on that area like you can see on the video it's very important too because when you are removing the form and this is, if this space is empty that you will have a crack in that area and this is the next mistake of uh, beginners because sometimes they, they forget to flow the gel into these areas it's better to overflow the gel than not to flow in that area you should remember about it too so we may to spend uh, more time while shaping nails after that process than to not only not uh, place the gel uh, enough and spend our time to remake all the work so guys now we're applying the next layer this is this layer uh, this sculpting layer is the second and that's enough uh, we are placing the large drop on the middle of the nail and trying to push it close to cuticles but not very close uh, not closer um, and we're trying to uh, play with this ball um, this way the gel will be placed evenly and this is very important too because sometimes beginners apply very thin layer of sculpting gel and they think that they will save their time and they uh, will not shape nails 
too much. This is uh, the mistake because uh, we don't place the gel in stress zone. The stress zone protects the nail plate from crackings and breakings. And it's very important when you have long nails, it's very important to place uh, the correct amount of gel in in the stress zone like you can see here so i am leaving the large amount of gel in this area um, somewhere in the middle of the nail like you can see on the video and as you can see we have sculpted the whole set of nail and we have steel and we'll have still enough gel into the jar so uh, you may apply 10 or 20 sets of gel nails using using 20 milli milliliters of this gel it depends of how long your nails are after that we should cure these nails in lead lamp in one or two minutes if you don't sure that your lead lamp is powerful enough you may cure these nails in two minutes if you use for example uh, uh, UV lamp you can uh, cure it in four minutes for example now I'm removing the forms and as you can see I have already removed the tacky layer from each nail using the rubbing alcohol for removing the tacky layer we also may use cleaner from shape of nail top comb so guys you see me working with my favorite barrel drill bit this drill bit always helps me to work with large amount of gel. This drill bit works uh, f uh, long lasting drill bit. We should work with this drill bit with forward speed and move this bit only from uh, left to right as you can see on the video. Um, so you, you may use this drill bit on each phase of uh, working of these nails. So, we, we may use uh, the nail file only when file uh, shaping nails. So we correct the, uh, the free edge using this bit. We are removing the large amount of gel from the top of nails using the same drill bit. Um, you should also use dust collector. As you can see the particles of gel uh, are large and they are not dangerous for your health as uh, the dust from for example um, uh, drill bits with the less toothing because this dust is quickly lying on the table or lying on your head but don't lying on on the air of your room uh, if you for example have uh, the powerful dust collector it, that's great because uh, the dust will uh, be removed with this collector but my collector is broken today and you see uh, too much dust on the video and this dust is everywhere but I'm using the, ne uh, the face mask and it's protect, uh, it protects me from the dust so guys, as you can see, I'm working with this bit on each uh, side and trying to, uh, trying to sculpt the nail, trying to make the perfect shape using this bit. And now I have changed the drill bit and you see me with fantastic exclusive drill bit, which name is Con Drill Bit. I'm, lo I'm in love with, just with this drill bit because uh, only this drill bit, uh, only this drill bit may work in cuticles area. Uh, I have, I haven't found anywhere analog of this drill bit because the the corner of this drill bit is rounded. And we may place this corner under the cuticles. We may remove uh, safely the gel 
from underneath of the nail plate. I can also tell you guys that we work with the forward speed and uh, we work only from right to left. You should work with medium speed of your drill machine or the high speed. It depends on your qualification, your experience. As you can see it's removing the natural nail from the nail plate. It's very important too because if you don't remove the natural nail there will be the lifting and your client will come back to you soon to fix it. So we should remove uh, the natural nail from underneath of the nail plate. And now you see me working with the file uh, not so hard like uh, 1880. It's a file, it's about 100, 120. Uh, softer than those I used before. I think it's on uh, this file is great for the beginner because it's safe, safe for your client. You will never cut your client using this file. Of course, uh, you should work with the same file individually not uh, use uh, don't use this the same file on the other client you should utilize this file after work uh, the shape of nail top com sells files in individual packed sterile so you may order their uh, nail files and don't care about problems with uh, sterile tools using a, a particular file for each client. As you can see I'm working with each nail step by step um, shaping side walls. Uh, you should compare one nail to the other to make sure that the shape is the same. And when you are removing the gel from uh, side walls you should uh, push using your finger on pad to save this pad from from cutting it's very important too and uh, beginners sometimes forget about it and uh, they cut their clients so it's better way to use uh, save file with higher grid like 100 and uh, 180 for the beginner and after that when you are more experienced nail technician you may use a lower grid file to save your time and work faster because you should understand that low grid file uh, remove more product than this one so you can see that I'm spending more time for shaping nails like in usual way so we are removing the uh, dust using the brush and in some particle in some areas we will remove we will uh, work again with nippers to remove some skin like you see here only using professional tools you may apply this work so guys it's time to cover nails with the top coat and right now I will tell you all information about top coats what kind of top coat you use while working with gel nails but for understanding this problem you sh we should come back to base coat in this video I didn't use base coat because uh, it's enough to apply only thin layer of sculpting mix gel so it will be the base uh, but sometimes nail technicians make mistake. They use a rubber base cut as a base for gel nails. This is the big, mis big mistake because rubber base cut is soft flexible product that was invented for gel polishes. But rubber top cut may be used for covering gel nails like in this situation. So you guys make you uh, make apply any type of top coat for covering these nails. 
I'm using now uh, the top coat, gloss, glossy rubber top, top coat from Shape of Nail uh, for covering nails. This uh, product is uh, thick enough, so it's very easy to align the nail plane plate using this product, as you can see. This product looks very glossy. So guys, from this video, you should remember the next one important thing that we place hard products like Sculpting Mix Gel. Only on hard products like regular base hard gel, not rubber base gel. But rubber top coats may be used for each product, no matter what kind is. So, we may use uh, flexible soft products on hard products, but never on the, in the opposite way. We never place hard products on soft products. What's the differences between top gel or rubber based gel? Rubber based gel is thicker and it's easy to work with it, especially on long nails. The regular top gel is liquid. I'm using this top gel especially to cover long nails. Thin top cuts make nails more graceful. And now guys, let's take a look at the differences between before and after. We have transformed these nails and now you see beautiful woman with elegant gel nails. The, these nails look very natural. It seems that it's na her natural nails. I made this set without any paintings, without any deca, to show some subscribers who think that I'm only covering destroying nails or only with my flowers. You are wrong, guys. When we are using high quality products and when we do everything correctly, step by step, as I told you in this video, you will have such amazing result. And you also may see that skin of Luba has changed too because we are using every time we are using coconut oil extra virgin coconut oil from shapeofnail.com I told you before many times that this oil makes the skin softer all these products you may order on web store shapeofnail.com shipping is free all over the world no matter the size of package. And I also created my personal blog on YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit this blog and uh, write some feedback. Your feedbacks will help to make my service better. See you again. Bye.